today I'm going to be showing you my suggested method for building out your custom sections for your e-ink digital planner. I'm going to specifically be showing you these steps on the Remarkable device, but they'll be similar for most. And the reason that this is a little bit different than um, the planner that you use on iPad or Android is that I found that most of the page management options on e-ink devices are a little bit lacking for the things we need to do to build out our custom sections. So I do recommend editing your PDF, the planner PDF, before you upload it to your device because it makes it quite a bit easier to build out the sections in a program like Adobe. So I'm here in Adobe PDF. This is the program I personally use. There are other PDF editors that will work well. Also, any editor that allows you to duplicate and manage pages will work well. So we're here in our planner file. This is the PDF file that you receive when you buy your planner. These planners come as PDFs. It's a great file type that's really adaptable to any device. And so you can just open it up in this program and you can see all of the pages included in this file. And as we already know, the thing that really sets this file apart is all of the embedded hyperlinks. So these hyperlinks allow us to really quickly navigate through the file and give you kind of that app-like experience. So in this case, you have custom note sections included in your planner. Now, the way these note sections work is that each page acts as a divider page. Think of it as you would for tab dividers in a paper notebook. Uh, they're like bookmarks. So what this allows you to do is anytime I tap in and I'm working in any of the notes sections of my planners, I have these tabs available all across the top of the page and I can easily jump to any section. So this means I have 24 potential sections that I could build out. Now you can build out these sections for any use that fits your needs. For me, I like to have a reading notes section where I have all of my notes on the books I'm reading. I like to designate a section for each big project that I'll be working on this year. I also like to do some expense tracking as well, so I'll designate a section for that. So I'll show you in a second really how that all comes together. But for the purpose of what we're doing here on the computer, what I want to do is decide which sections I want to build out now and have available when I import my PDF. So here's my section one. I know that I want to make section one my reading notes section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over to my template library and the template that I will be using is this reading list. So I'm going to tap here, go to my reading list. And just to kind of give you a lay of the land here, we're in the middle of all of our templates. You can see there's a single template page for each of the bonus pages. Now what I'm going to do is I'm basically grabbing this template and I'm going to duplicate it. So in this specific program, what I do is I right click and I click copy. So I have that page copied. If I click back in, what I wanna do is build out section one with my reading notes. So I'm gonna click into organize pages. I'm right clicking and I am pasting. What that did is that pasted the page right after section one. Since I know I'm going to try to read a ton of books this year, I'm just going to continue right clicking and pasting until I have several pages here. Now I am going to be able to continue to build this section out as I might need to throughout the year on the Remarkable, but like I said, I just kind of want to get it to a place where I have these sections semi-built out to save some of that, that work on the Remarkable side. 
So now what we've created here is when I go to my sections, I tap into note section one and I can just page over and there I am in all of the pages I added in my reading list. So I'm gonna to continue to do this for my other sections as well. Now I know that I want section number two to have some expense tracking pages in it. So I'm going to tap over here and go to my expense tracker that I like to use. Again, organize pages, copy, jump over to two, and paste the pages. Now, of course, as you can see, you know, this takes a little time, this takes a little bit of forethought, but the great thing about doing this ahead of time is that when you're on the Remarkable, it's quite a bit harder to rearrange and drag pages. I'll show you in a second what that experience is like, but really doing this ahead of time, I found saves myself a lot of headaches. So I'm just gonna go through, I'm going to continue to build out these pages, and um, then I will jump back on here and show you the process of importing it to our Remarkable and what it looks like once we have it imported over there. So I'll be right back. Once I've built out the pages I want for each of my sections, I'm going to save this file and then I'll jump over and whether you go through the web uploader or the actual Remarkable desktop application, you can just import it here. So I'm just going to choose my saved edited file and open it and then it will be waiting for me once my Remarkable syncs. So let's jump over there and I'll show you what it's going to look like on your tablet. So I have imported my planner and I have it opened up on my Remarkable tablet. And now I can jump in and I can see that the sections I built out contain the pages that I added to them. So what I'm gonna do now, since I have it on my tablet, I'm going to finish setting them up by writing in the section names. Of course, I could have added text in my PDF editor, but I like just sticking with the handwritten feel that I have in this uh, notebook already when I'm using it on my tablet. So I'm going to go in and we know this first section was my reading notes. So I go in and I add that. And then if you want, you can also add that in and any notes as well on the section divider page. I tried to make use of this divider page by making it a little easier to navigate. I'll For this one, I'll list out the books that I read as I read them so that I can quickly see which notes are included. So depending on the divider, uh, you can add any, you know, scratch pad notes or content notes to this divider page so that when you easily tap into it, you can see what's included before you start paging through the actual pages. So this second one in my table of contents is my expense tracking. So you can see here I'm listing out the things that I'm going to be using my pages for. And again, this is very custom to whatever your needs are. So when I go in, I do want to show you the options that you have right on your Remarkable uh, to help you see that while it's helpful to build things out ahead of time, you're not stuck with exactly the sections that you built out. It's completely possible to duplicate them here on the Remarkable. So if we tap into our page view here, I have my divider page and then each of the pages I've added in. If I tap and hold, I can duplicate this page or move it. So if I tap, if say I'm running out of pages because I've already filled them up, 
in the middle of the year, I can simply tap duplicate and it's going to duplicate that page there for me. So when I'm building up my sections, what I actually focus on is just getting at least one template page. And then as I go throughout the year, if I need to duplicate, add more in, I can do that easily directly on my Remarkable. So hopefully that helps you understand how it is helpful to build it out ahead of time, but you're definitely not locked into what you do uh, here on the Remarkable. You can absolutely duplicate and build out sections as you need to throughout the year. I hope this video is helpful and you're feeling confident to build out your own sections. As always, please leave any comments or questions below and like and subscribe to see future videos.